This visit in 1977 produces the site's only loco, Andrew Barclay Fireless 2238 of 1948. Although there was no work for the loco that day, the crew were more than happy to show it off. 2238 arrived here new. The fireless locos work in much the same way as other steam locos, but instead of having a boiler, a large, well insulated reservoir is mounted on the mainframes. This is charged with steam from an external source at about 180 pounds per square inch, and the loco remains capable of working until the pressure drops to around 35 psi. As the pressure drops, the remaining hot water boils again at the lower pressure because the temperature stays fairly constant, producing extra steam for further work. Clever! One charge can last several hours, depending on how much work the loco does. A number of fireless locos were built by Andrew Barclay for use at sites where stray sparks would have proved dangerous, like here at a petrol depot for instance. Railway operations had finished here by 1987. The little fireless loco was saved and can now be found in the National Museum and Galleries of Wales collection at Nankaroo. With so much hazardous material being produced, a fireless loco was needed for the site, and the company bought Andrew Barclay 1966 of 1929 vintage from Reckitt and Coleman, mustard makers of Norwich, in 1949. Here, in 1972, the loco is shunting recently arrived oil tankers. Rail operations ceased in 1990, but this fire list was saved too and can also be found amongst the collection at the Nanguru Centre.